Hello YouTube and welcome to My First Hour, a weekly video series where I, Risky the Kid, dive into the first hour of a game so that you, the viewer, can decide if the game is something that you might be interested in. Uh, this week we'll be going through My First Hour with the Drake Hollow beta. Drake Hollow will be coming out on July 17th to both Xbox One <laughs> and the PC. Uh, Drake Hollow was also developed and published by the Molasses Flood. Uh, but without further ado, let's put 60 minutes on the clock and get into it. All right, so Drake Hollow, uh, welcome to the beta. This is the first look at the sandbox gameplay of Drake Hollow. This first beta is intended to help us gather information to approve balance and check for stability issues. Um, Hopefully my camera positioning here is good. If it's not, I'll move it somewhere else uh, where there might be info that's necessary. Uh, all right, so let's uh, check out characters. Uh, okay, so first of all, let's find the biggest nose possible because that's how we roll. That's a pretty big nose. Uh, we have a male body. It's summertime, so we've got a, our skin's a little darker than normal. A uh, big floof, big floofy hair. Perfect. Eye color, we gotta go. Come on. I can't just hold it down? Okay, so make sure you're tabbing quickly if you have dark brown eyes and need to get over there. Same thing with your hair. I think it turned down that nose a little bit. Got some dark brown hair, and we can even change our out eyebrow color because. Why not? No beard options. I think that's a miss, Molasses Flood. I think it's a miss. Uh, let's go with a plain white tee, some blue jeans, and some chucks. Uh, backpack. Mm, this one seems like it might be a little easier to get into, uh, just in case. Uh, rotate. That's oh, it's a tiny bag though. I guess they're both tiny bags. Doesn't matter. Anyways, that's not what you're here for. Finish customization, accept changes. Okay, so new game. Um, so it is a multiplayer game, multiplayer game. Uh, so if you're looking to link up with your friends, obviously you start open, create an online game, and then your friends can play with you. Uh, I'm gonna just hop into a private game. Uh, that's where you start a single player game. It can be switched to multiplayer uh, by inviting friends. So easy enough. Let's dive into it. Generating world. So, sounds like it's procedurally generated. My kind of game. <laughs> Press A. Welcome to the hollow. This is a drake. They get bored and hungry and thirsty, but you can help. Build things to lend a hand. Poppets, beds, yoga balls, hot tubs, gardens, and more. Hot tub? That looks fun. Cute little drakes. They look like uh, it looks like a beat. It looks like a, a, a lot beat that's alive that I'm gonna help to not get hungry or thirsty or bored. Uh, welcome to the hollow. Explore the hollow and find supplies and drakes. But be careful because aether is deadly. Wonder if there's some type of permadeath element. Oh, all right, and here we are. Look at that. I mean, minus the beard and. Uh, Maybe 50 pounds. We're, we're right about there. Uh, Alright, so we got an axe here. A pioneer hatchet. Uh, 23 DPS. Okay, so press up to select the melee weapon. Ooh, look at that. Kind of the graphics initially, right off the bat, kind of remind me of Fortnite. Uh, that's kind of vibes I'm getting. What's in this purple bag? Let's see. Uh, Aether Ward. Aether Ward, it's a utility. Hold RB to activate it. Uh, sprint is pretty standard on your left thumbstick. I'm assuming I can cross this water because, uh, hold, there we go, hold RB to use an aether ward. Oh, okay, so this looks like it's some type of defensive shield, uh, which keeps all these evil tentacle monsters away. Can we shut it off and save some of it? Nope. Alright, so it's just good for 15 seconds, it looks like. Uh, see if we can talk to this crow one second. What's up, Crow? Let's talk. Wise Crow, hey there. Looks like you made it across the Aether. Not bad. 
Welcome to the Hollow Eye, a wise crow am at your service. And you, in turn, have been brought here to help the drakes. Let's meet one. See that wobbly leaf with the purple magics rising out of it? Go over there and yank it up. Just like you want to beat. Perfect. Hello, Mr. Drake. Hold to wake the Drake. Good morning. Flip it up. I was standing in the way of the camera. Hey, what's up? Five charms collected, some health restored. His name is Riplet. He's an infant. His energy crystal is the bloodstone. He's a heavy hitter, which means he gets 5% melee damage. And he's healthy as all get out. 100 to 100. Uh, obtained buff, increase. Oh, okay, so I obtained a buff and increased melee damage. Oh, so I guess he must help me out then. Well, okay. I guess I was him applying the magical buff. Uh, so, yeah, I took the action. Um, not anything else I can select, so we'll leave. Uh, oh, Alright, Riplet. Uh, have a good one. Bye. Alright, we have a uh, camp XP gauge. So, slowly leveling that up, I would assume. Uh, Alright, let's talk to the old crow. Oh, is that you? Oh, man, a drake! I already forgot the voice I was using for him. Surprise, I won't do that anymore. Uh, I summoned you here on their behalf. Places a bit blighted, and they need your help. Obviously, you don't need my help. They can help you too, mine. Make you stronger, lend you their magic. Which they already did by giving us the 5% uh, melee damage. So that's cool. Next, you gotta get off this rock. You figured out how to use that aether rule. Now, I'm gonna show you another method. Jetpack, jetpack, jetpack. See that pole sticking out of the dirt over there? Glowy crystal lit on top. Walk up to it, focus real hard, and connect the beam of light to its counterpart across the aether. Link them up and you build a bridge of magical light. Uh, yeah. Where's a uh, oh, glowy stick? All right, here we are, here we are. Okay, interacting. Uh, very solemn music. Uh, all right, hey, let's uh, build this bridge. Oh, we did. Uh, double jump near. Ooh, double jump. I love double jump. Hey, oh my god. You guys remember soaps back in the day? Little shoes with plastic plates in the middle? That's what we were just doing there. Uh, Sunset Overdrive is actually also what that reminded me of. Just grinding some rails. Uh, all right. Hey, there's a Drake. Is that our Drake hard at work? Uh, let's open the build menu. So let's select a structure. Here's what you can select from the structures that are available to build. Uh, so we can, this looks like a, some type of, oh, a cleansing cauldron. It says it right there. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what to do with anything at this point, where to put it. So let's, uh, let's keep it there. I think we only need one, hopefully. Oh. Well, thank you, Ripley. How helpful are you? Okay, so that's built. Uh, all right, we got a little pop up here. Let's see what it is. Ooh, a schematic. Uh, okay. Store items in the depot to free up inventory space. Space. Uh, all right, so that's got to be a depot of some sort. What is this? Why can't I double jump here? Hey, it's another Drake. Wake the Drake. I feel like I'm catching Pokemon. What do we got? Snezeep? Okay, his buff. Enemy raids on your camp occur less frequently, so he's 5% raid avoidance. Uh, so let's take the buff. Oh, ugh. okay, so it seems like you have to make some choices there. Um, yeah, let's remove heavy hitter. Because we have confidence in our abilities to swing giant axes around, obviously. Uh, Snazeep, the tactician. He's also an infant, and his energy crystal is amber. Just a little note. Uh, bye. Have fun. Uh, camp XP is gaining. It is funny because you see them all running around doing things, so that's exciting. Uh, all right, let's stock the cauldron. I have nothing to add. Makes sense. Um, all right, so. Build a cleansing cauldron. We already did that. Does want? Do we need two of them? Uh. Well, no. <laughs> Hopefully, we needed two of them. Cleansing 
the cauldron built. Uh, Alright, so... But my quest is still build a cleansing cauldron. So we've built two of them now. Uh, our lazy drakes apparently go to sleep as soon as the sun goes down. Uh, so they're apparently not going to be of any help for a little bit. Uh, we have an envelope up there. Let's see if we can get to that. Not through the select button. Here we go. Okay. Log, active quest, build the camp. We're working on it. Help message, welcome to Drake Hollow. Uh, build menu, this is stuff that uh, we already looked at. Uh, curio crafting, in this screen you can craft recipes that you previously unlocked at a simple curio workshop and an advanced curio workshop. Okay. Conversations, uh, so you made it across the Aether, not bad. Oh, that must have been our conversation with, uh, with the old crow. Uh, Oh, we can change outfits at any time. Let's throw that hoodie on. Obviously. No hats, we don't need that. But hey, we can stay a little bit warmer. To, uh, for the night. Hit containers to extract their loot. Uh, Alright, we got a whole bunch of stuff. Arrow duct tape, some shoelaces. Uh, I guess we're just gonna hit trees and collect crafting materials. Feels like Fortnite, you guys? A little bit. With a little more uh, survival elements. Obviously, if you look up at the top right, it looks like we have a water meter, a food meter, and happiness, sanity. <laughs> Not sure. Uh, all right. Okay, let's get some more wood. So with that we can get things like leaf bundles, twigs, and probably the most important thing, I'm assuming, uh, would be lumber there. Okay. Uh, let's go into our build menu. It says build a poppet. So I'm not sure. So build improvements. We do have one of those scrolls to actually uh, build this simple curio workshop. So let's unlock that. Uh, and uh, for now, we'll just start making a circle around uh, everything here. Just make a circle around this big, big Hey, looky, they're not useless. Wonderful. They'll wake up out of their slumber. Come and help us out. Exactly. Good hard workers. Alright, so. Uh, let's see what we can do with the Curio Workshop. Uh, crafting Curios. Uh, the simple Curio Workshop is used for R&D of new Curios. Useful gadgets and knickknacks. Uh, once you've unlocked a recipe here, you can always make more anywhere from your build menu. So that's kind of cool if you're out and about in the woods. Uh, maybe you break your axe if they have durability. Uh, you could potentially just build a new one. Um, all right, Aether Wards, we need some more glowstone. We do have a shoelace, so that's cool. Uh, waypoint, that can connect supply trucks to your camp to collect building materials. Wow, this game is a little more involved than I uh, initially assumed it would be, I guess. Uh, it sounds like we can have supply trucks coming in from different areas, dropping off supplies at our base camp here if we have waypoint set up obviously uh healing salve uh soothing poultice made from a potent blend of yarrow and skull caps apparition charm call upon the arcane ener energies within you to cease being where you are and resume being back at camp uh so a quick get out of free get out of jail free card i guess uh 13 of 250 different recipes Good lord. Okay. So, that's good. Um, okay, we have to build a thatched bed and a puppet. Okay, so this is the thatched bed. We have everything we need for that. So, we're just going to continue our ring around the giant pit of crystals of aether. No, the aether's bad. I don't know what those are. 
Uh, hey buddies, can we come build these? Oh, thank you. Wonderful. Your hands are real big and scary. I wouldn't mess with that. Uh, Thatch Bread provides a place to sleep for one night. Only one night. <laughs> Not great. Um, all right. Uh, it wants us to build. Why does it want us to build two? We don't ask questions here. Uh, all right. Charms. Charms provide the magic necessary to produce curios and camp improvements. Interact with drakes to collect charms. Use inspect to see how many drake. Uh, Use inspect to see how many each drake has. My bad. Happy drakes produce more charms, and the more drakes in your village, the larger pool you can collect from. Uh, cool. So let's go see that. Uh, that night cycle was pretty quick. Hey, come here. I got a question. Wait. Hey, Riplet. Let's talk quick. Uh, 15 charms collected. Okay, so the charms are just going to be something that uh, periodically they are going to gain. And then we need to chase them around. Nazeep, I need your charms quick. 15 charms uh, and health restored for him, I'm assuming. Uh, Alright, so for a thatched bed, we need more twigs. We need more leaf bundles, which means we are going to hack down some more trees. Uh, and it does look like we have, if you look in the bottom left, we do have a health gauge on our weapons. So there's definitely weapon de degradation dead. You know what I'm um, all right, we're just getting a lot of planks. Car over there. I wonder if it gives us a lot. Uh, I also wonder what our inventory space looks like. I'm assuming we can upgrade backpacks or something like that to get more space. Um, all right, so we can build our second thatched bed. Obviously, we're gonna place it right next to our other bed. Perfect. Uh, okay, so up next, oh, I'll pop, oh, pop it like it's a, uh, it's a little toy. Uh, upholstery scrap and some cattails. Hmm. Cattails, I'm assuming we're going to go to the water. Yep, I see some right over there. Uh, I don't know where we're going to get the cloth though. Ugh, I don't think we should be walking through that. That's the bad stuff. Can I not touch them? I'm scared to touch that stuff. Ew, no thank you. We would need another Aether Ward if we wanted to go through that. Uh, let's search this car. Maybe. Well, when all else fails and you can't open the doors, you hit it with an axe. Uh, just once, apparently. What do we got here? Ooh, a juice box. Yum. Delicious. Ah, and more shoelaces. Um, okay, well, I know we need some more cattails. So I'm not sure how uh, big this world is, but, oh, hey, a house. Let's go check out that house. Why not? Um, yeah, like I was saying, I don't know how big the world is here, so there could be plenty to explore. Uh, we're obviously not going to get to everything in the game in an hour, uh, but hopefully with this first hour, we will uh, maybe let you know if you want to pick this one up. Bash caches to extract building materials. Yes, please. Everything about this feeling like Fortnite. Uh, okay, another cache. Uh, a ski. Oh, it's a weapon. <laughs> because, of course, it's a weapon. Uh, let's get that. Some arrows. Another juice box. Um, our health and all the things up in the top right haven't really moved. Yet. So, hey, upholstery scrap. Awesome. I was thinking we were going to have to find clothing or something and then take it that way. What do we have over here? Hey, some skull caps. Uh, we saw those earlier. And just because this tree is here. And I wonder if, like in every other game, uh, we also see rocks. Wonder if we can get clay, stone. Okay. Cannot. Uh, Alright, so let's. Oh. Hello. Awesome. Another schematic. So, um, 
that's kind of just like a free uh, a currency that lets you craft a new schematic or get a new schematic so that you can craft it uh, but it looks like you can choose whichever one you want um, as far as a stamina gauge don't see one all right let's see if we can make a connection back to hmm, I would say back to home but uh, there's one there I'd rather oh awesome cool so we can definitely make these connections we're gonna go by oh uh, okay well first <laughs> we can make connections so that's pretty awesome to be able to travel around quickly but also the giant beacon of light that comes out of your home will make it so you can never get lost and that's probably exactly what you're looking for right is this, is this one there playing some fun noise uh okay so i collected 10 of whatever building currency or well, whatever that was i guess uh, hey, more juice boxes. Uh, like I said, my health hasn't gone down just yet. Uh, also, last time we had a night cycle, we were actually at camp. So I'm curious if uh, there's dangerous aether animals at night uh, out there or something. Because there has to be some type of threat besides just that like bramble that <laughs> we ran into before. Can I say... Oh! I am so sorry if someone still lives here. Uh, another cool thing to think about is that this game is also multiple multiplayer. Um, I'm not sure how many people, but at least you and another friend can hop into this world, uh, divide and conquer, go find the resources that you need to craft certain things, um, go to town. So that's kind of cool. Blunderbuss shot. All right, so we do have more weapons than just axes. Good to know. Uh, speaking of weapons, let's see. Where's our bag? Oh, maybe those were inventory slots. 50 of 250. I thought they were schematics. Uh, clearly not right. So let's see this juice box. Uh, undrinkable by Drake's until treated in a cleansing cauldron. Got to reduce all the sugary sweetness first. Uh, it'll satisfy our thirst, though. Interesting. How do I put it in my hand? Oh, there's a shield button. So LB will shield from enemies. Cool. Left trigger not doing anything. Oh, and of course, as soon as I said something, our uh, gauges all started to go down. Of course. Uh, shiny object. Maybe the Drakes will, will like that. I feel like I probably need to get quicker at all this. Okay, I think I... Ooh. Also, I have X on my back trigger on my Elite controller, so I might as well utilize that. Um, Alright, let's... Oh, fall damage? Not from that far, at least. So, more shiny objects, juice boxes. Uh, we really need the... Uh, we have two upholstery scraps. Okay. Uh, Alright, well, it looks like that icon on the top right, I'm assuming, is a, hey, the sun's going down icon. Maybe we can look up in the sky, get out on this bridge and check. Yeah, so the sun might be going down. Uh, I'm assuming that symbol in the top right is showing that in one way or another. Um, all right. And wonderful, we're back home. Man, those, <laughs> that is some good fun, riding those things around. Uh, all right, so let's continue our circle. Our circle, because, of course, why not? Uh, all right, and build our first poppet. Place one there, place one here. Hey, there's two of them, so you guys can both have fun playing with them. I'm assuming he's just up the enjoyment for them so they're not bored. Poppets immediately add to entertainment. 
entertainment. Hey, whoa. Um, all right, so these are Drake supplies. Um, oh. Okay, so maybe we're keeping them hungry and satisfied and happy. Uh, or not bored, I guess, would be that metric. Oh, uh, yeah, because it went up to nine from seven, if you look in the top right there. Food, water, and entertainment. Okay. Uh, amount stockpiled. You're making less than you need. <laughs> Great. Um, yeah, have some fun, friends. Yeah, enjoy your poppets, cute little guy. Okay, so uh, we're at 11 there, and it still says we're making less than we need to be. Um... Oh, investigate the top of the lighthouse. Uh, do we have the time of day? I guess we're going to find out. Oh, and I mentioned earlier that I would move my face. <laughs> hey, this is my first episode, guys. Bear with me here. All right, move my face down there. Now you can see the things up in the top right that I was talking about before. Sorry about that. It only took me 25 minutes to check it out. Or to get to, for me to check it out and then move it for you. Um, all right, so let's get up to this lighthouse. Uh, maybe we can set another beacon uh, to go over in this direction. Survey says. All right, so that looks like a negative. Um, can we... Something sounded like it just ran up to me. Oh, it did. What's up, Ripplet? Are you coming with me? Hold him. Come here, buddy. You are kind of normal. Oh, you're both... And Snazif. Where... What are you guys doing out here? I assumed you just... Hey! Hey! I want a hug. Hey! More charms collected. Alright, um... Actually... Yeah, all right. So we're going to keep his power activated just because 5% uh, less for base raids. And that sounds like something we don't want to deal with right now. Um, okay. So uh, we need to cross that. So I think we had to go back real quick. Uh, but hopefully we made a good little... Can we lean? Oh, we can lean. That is fantastic. Talk about just taking a bunch of fun little ideas and putting them into one game. That is great. Um, oh, those are for you guys. Well, hey, have at it. Go to sleep. Uh, have a good night. Alright, uh, let's see if there's something. We need a anchor board. That's what we need. Uh, which means we need more glowstone shards. I'm just not sure where to get those from. Uh, hold. Oh. Okay. So, I mean, we have two of those, which is good. But, so, the liquid at the bottom is obviously going to be all those juice boxes we put in. And then, I think we found some berries or something back there. Uh, they also got put in. So, I think this is less of a survival game, as I was saying earlier, for us. And it's more for the drakes. Uh, which is a fun idea. It's very different than me having to make sure that I'm hungry and uh, that I'm doing all right. It's protecting these little meat animals, which are called drakes. So, kind of fun. Uh, a nice little spin. Uh, we do need to find some glowstone now. So, we bash some more things. Hey, hey. Well, funny enough, that's where we got our glowstone. That thing actually scared me a little bit. Everything's been so peaceful so far. Uh, so, all right, one piece of glowstone. Ah, yeah, yeah, I keep hitting that select. Um, all right, so let's go, let's run back to the table quick. I think we needed two, though. Oh, it's not really deep. Okay, yeah, we don't need to worry about space yet. If I can find another trash can with monsters inside of it, that would be swell. Can I... Oh! Uh, 
Okay, so some type of weird timer. I probably don't want to figure out what happens when that gets through. Uh, okay, so these are the berries we were putting in. What is this? Uh, yarrow. Which actually, we needed that for something. One of the curio crafts, I'm pretty sure. Um, uh, I need one more. Let's go over. I think that's where the crow came from. Maybe not. I don't know. It's all lit up, so we're gonna go see what it is. Uh, but right now, we're looking for another glowstone. Yes, yeah, so this is the old crow, the wise crow. Or not, this is Magpie. Alright. Hello and welcome to the world of wonder. That is Magpie's Emporium. What a name. If you've got shiny objects, shiny objects, and he's a crow. It all makes perfect sense. I'm exactly the sort of cultured aficionado that you should be speaking with. I can tell from a quick look at you that you're also a person of refined taste. We still get along famously. Uh, please browse around, inspect the wares. I'm always looking to make a deal and expand my vast collection of rare and wonderful shiny objects. Check in every day. New stock arrives every morning. Oh, okay, cool. So that's uh, just a little store that refreshes. Um, all right, what I need is a glowstone. Uh, and we have, I mean, we have enough to buy one. I think I just bought one. Oh, I don't have enough. I have 20, 26. Uh, so I do need to sell something. Um, what do I need? Uh, I need eight. Do we have anything that's worth eight? A tennis racket. Sure. Have my tennis racket. I don't know if we needed glowstone or glowstone shards. Let's do glowstone. I guess we shall see. All right, let's go back to our curio crafting station. Uh, it is morning again. So these, uh, the night cycles seem super quick. Uh, the day cycles seem quick. Um, so they are glowstone shards. I wonder... All right, let's put some more berries in there for those guys. Um... I wonder if there's a way I can break them down. Oh, I can make a waypoint with the actual glowstones, though, so that's cool. Uh, oh, hey, why, why not? Alright, um. Uh, this is unfortunate. Oh, hi. Sure, Snesky, I will afford you. Fifteen charms collected. I still... What are you... Oh, you're just... You're just devouring everything in that cauldron, huh? Uh, and your sleeping mats are gone. You guys, I swear. Alright, here, have another bed. Your buddy's gonna need one too. We are out, though. Create your beds. Last one you're getting for today. Scrap. This is glowing. Hmm. It's not glowing like it's got. Oh, do you see that up ahead, friend? Well, let's fight it. Runt. I got to see its name that time. Last time I was down. Yeah. Okay, so sometimes when you are bashing toilets out of the toilets, uh, you're going to come across grunts and you need to hit them. Uh, this is what I was looking for. Need... Yes, close some shard. Okay, perfect. Um, so let's build. We'll have to build the Aether Ward, I'm assuming, back at our. Uh... No, no, look at him. Okay, so you can see he was level 3. He had a little bit more health. Uh, because he took more than one hit. So that's definitely going to ramp up. I'm assuming we can maybe craft some better weapons uh, or something like that. Um, also, this got added. I didn't see it, but the health potion is looks like it's bound to um, the same spot as the Aether Ward uh, down on the RB. So, just a good thing to note. Uh, before I get over there, let's make sure. Yeah, so without building another table, um, 
You have to come back here. Uh, Alright, so we now have enough for this. Let's, uh... Yeah, I guess. Might as well make two of them. Um, and just to see how the waypoints work. Um, let's do that. Alright, so we're going to go check out the lighthouse now. Um, I wonder... Because they kind of positioned this teleporter over here. Um, or not teleporter. What uh... Ugh, stop hitting select. It doesn't do anything. A waypoint. Literally just said it and already forgot. That's one thing you'll quickly learn, folks. Short-term memory? Not there. Not there, friends. Uh, Alright, so there's a waypoint there. We're going to cross this river with the Aether Ward. Um, whoop. With the Aether Ward. Um, Alright, so let's hold. Actually... <laughs> Still don't want to hit the spikes. An aether infestation. Uh, dealing with aether. Aether will spread and cover an island, disrupting supply networks if not cleared. Fully clear an island to make sure your supply network remains functional. I haven't even built one of those yet. Can I, uh. I mean. Okay, so that's not how we clear it. Um. All right, so, oh, hey, that's what it's talking about. I think he's supposed to be sprinting at us. Oh my God. There he is. Uh, thanks for the glowstone. Can I? Oh, okay. That doesn't look like it's damaging me in any way. Cool. Aether level is down to six in this area. Uh, I'm assuming I can just keep knocking this out. Hop down here. Chop up this one. Aether is now down to five. Okay. Uh, so it's just those red ones. Um. So what I did want to check is if I can put a a waypoint over here. Oh, you know, good thing it gives me that notification. Okay, got our block up. Block up and ready. Let's see how the block works. Okay, cool. So I think we have that much shield. Uh, you can swing out of a block. So probably not a bad idea to just be blocking all the time. Um, all right, so... I don't know if there's a way. All right, well, let's put it here. Okay, and now let's hope that, oh, we can't connect it. Whew. Okay, cool. So uh, finding out the distance that you can do it might be a little tricky. Um, Cause I would assume it's not infinite. What I should have done is saw if I could hit the one up on the bridge over there. Ah, uh, but I didn't. So, um, either way, we have a way to get back quickly. Um, oh, hey, look at that. Let's go get this close, don't chop. Uh, we drop any? Notice me looking uh, down here in real life? Yep. Okay, boxes with shoelaces, juice boxes, uh, some more arrows. Okay, let's test fall damage again. Nothing. Just the way I like it. Uh, Alright, so. What else we got in this gas station? It looks like it's not a ton of, like, uh, opening up closets and containers and stuff like that. Everything that you can loot will have a little icon above it like this which is, which is good um, duct tape you see what the duct tape does um, okay we do want to we got we're like 40 ish minutes in so still plenty of time so 
we want to at least go up and see what the uh, what's going on up at the lighthouse. I'd also like to clear this area out and get the. Uh, oh, oh, hello, hello. Shields up. Shields up. So the shield feels super OP. So I'm wondering if uh, who was that? Who an amber shard? Don't know what it does, but I'll take it. Um, because that shield thing feels like you can do that for a while, uh, I wonder if eventually you're gonna be running into a bunch of them. We're probably at the very beginning of the difficulty scale for uh, the amount of enemies that'll be attacking us eventually. Hey, look at that. Eighth are level down to three. We're getting close, man. I don't know what else, uh, we'll do a quick, a quick look-see over on this side of the little island here, but there it is. There they are, I should say. Okay. Done. Down to two. This should take us down to one. Red light crystal. Come on. Without going in the goo. Um, hmm. Call. Don't be like that. The game in the system, boys. A weed slayer. Yikes, we don't want to do that all at once. I want that though. I want that. Oh no, oh no. Oh! No, we're not. No. Ah. And I don't have enough ether uh, <laughs> for to go back over there. Oh, that little tombstone was popping up real quick. No, thank you, sir. Um, Alright, so let's, uh, let's go over to the lighthouse. Okay, let's uh, start our ether board. Location discovered three sisters. Aether infestation is at a six. Oh my god, no ammo. Yep, well, we're trying to use that, will we? Sure wasn't. Okay, so. If you hold left trigger, that'll pull out your uh, ranged weapon. Otherwise, you're just pulling right trigger to swing. Uh, pretty simple. I just managed to mess it up. Did I see something like that maybe? I guess the game is pretty good at letting you know when enemies are coming towards you. Okay, Aether levels down to five. Uh, but let's... Let's make our way up to the top of this. If we see anything along the way, we'll uh, stop and handle it. But otherwise, I'd like to at least get to the top of this and see what's going on. Okay. All right, up the mountain we go. Gotta stop and take this out. Obviously. I still wonder if there's a way to break down the glowstone into glowstone shards. Shards. It seems like there has to be. Ooh, I'm getting some, getting some fun music over there. It sounds like a music box or something. Okay, so that. Uh, it's, oh my god! It's flying at me. Um, so there's definitely some type of rarity scale for materials. It seems like uh, gold is generally the best. Gold, orange, red. Those type of colors are probably the best in a loot, uh, like a tiered loot game. So we'll assume that that is uh, top tier loot. Yeah, see, like it's purple, it's fabric is purple. Um, so I mean, so far, just from those like materials that we're getting, it seems like uh, this is a pretty good location and discovered. The only thing that's not so great. 
another Drake. This is super exciting. Did you see how excited I just got for that? <laughs> so that's gonna be it. Stop putting things in the way. Who we got? Who we got? Oofling. Uh, 10% attack speed. That's legit. Um, I'm gonna leave it though just because we're still away from camp. So. Uh, Alright, buddy. So you get back to there. <laughs> see ya. Get back to camp. Alright, hey, some more schematics. Good. Uh, yeah, but I think finding the drakes is it's, it's super fun. Like, you just see that leaf over there, uh, and then you're gonna get another drake to go to your camp to help collect like, charms, help with your projects. Uh, a blunderbuss, which we definitely have some. Uh, I'd say we definitely have some shots of the old blunderbuss, so we'll, uh, we'll load that up. Uh, investigate the top of the lighthouse. Uh, okay, so we'll do that. But I'm assuming now that we have more drakes, uh, our liquid or thirst, our, our thirst, our food and entertainment uh, goals are not going to be much higher. That's a couple of schematics we found, so that's nice. Um, go, 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 go. Ten points. Some more shiny objects, good. All right, we're going to top this. Uh, let's gaze. So I wonder if this is like uh Okay. I was gonna say kind of like state of decay when you go up to like a watchtower spot and you can actually like look around to see everything in your vicinity. Uh, hibernating, hibernating drakes found. Press that. Uh, okay, so infestation levels. You can tell the further you get away, uh, the more difficult they're gonna be. Oh wow. Uh, let's zoom out. So, like I said, this game is in beta. Um, so, it's not... This isn't going to be the whole game. It does kind of seem like they could easily add stuff on. Uh, if you look at the big open space at the top here, they could definitely just continuously add new little islands. But so far, it looks like we've kind of just worked our way north. Um, and we're, we're here. So, next we would have these kind of five spots that we can go check out. I don't know. Okay, so it's just showing me schematics. Um, oh, what is right here? Oh, it's just the saying it's a gas station. Makes sense. Um, so it said that the hibernating drakes, I wonder if that's what these are. It just kind of gives you a general location of where they might be. Uh, so I'm interested in this one right here because I wonder if you have to use the Aether Ward to actually uh, go across the seafloor, kind of the seafloor, <laughs> to uh, find him and then have enough time to dig him up and then not get killed within the 16 seconds that you have. Um, all right, cool. So the gaze spots are cool. And incoming raid. Oh, that's not good. Uh, okay, so we got to get... Oh man, we gotta get back home, but I am not. Or is this a raid? Man, I've been playing too much DayZ, so I'm constantly hitting the trigger and attacking even while meleeing. Uh, oh, this isn't good. Where, uh, nope. I need to be looking the other way. Oh, where the exclamation is. Like, exclamation point is. Uh, yeah, so again, no fall damage. That is 100% not a thing. Um... Oh, so I had a... I must have... Maybe you can find Aether Wards. And I've been finding them and just not noticing. Because I don't think I... Oh, there were, were packs of three and I made two of them, so I would have six. Okay, that makes sense. Um... Alright, get out of my way. I gotta go... I gotta go protect my base, protect my drakes, my babies. Uh, so to navigate these, you're just gonna lean towards the direction that you wanna go. So you can definitely just make a giant chain of these, which is, nope. Okay, okay, hey, hey. Does this look like your base of operations, friendo? All right, there's one more, where is he? Oh. Camp 
camp XP and level. Drakes raise your camp level. The higher the level, the more stuff you can build. Okay, I was wondering what the XP level was going to equate to when you actually started to level up your camp. So that's cool. Uh, find them in the wilderness or raise their age with crystals. I don't want to raise their age. They're so cute as infants. Older drakes can contribute more camp XP than younger ones. Okay, so that makes sense. Uh, oh, okay. And I bet you these amber, the, the different uh, colors of stone that you can pick up, those, um, a balloon? That's what that dude had inside of him? I wonder why he's so mad. Um, yeah, so let me use these stones to level people up. All right, this dude has a gift above him. So, what's up, buddy? Is that a gift for me, or am I giving you something? Okay, so I give him a crystal. Uh, give him the Kyanite crystal to this drake to level him up. Uh, all right, Oofling, you're gonna you're gonna grow up, buddy. And I hope you. Oh, he's also giving me a gift. Oh, okay, so he's giving me a gift, but I also have the option to uh, level him up. Oh, thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Uh, here, for that, you can level up. And I hate to see you get older, but... Oh, okay. Whew. He does not have to level up just yet. So, as you can tell, I would need five of the Kyanite shards um, to actually get him up to adolescence. Um, Aging a Drake up means you'll get more health, their buff will improve, and you'll get closer to leveling up your camp, but they will also need more food, water, and entertainment. Is your camp ready for that? Um... No, but we're going to see what it looks like anyways. Does he grow a little bit? No, he doesn't. Okay. Which is fine. Okay, let's talk to Snazzy. Uh, we also have crystals for you, my friend. We can give you both of them. Look how excited they are. And of course, hey, 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 hey. From my main man, Riplet. Main woman, Riplet. Uh, here's some bloodstones for you, little buddy. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, okay, so I mean, I think that kind of explains what the... <laughs> this dude's jumping rope with his arms. <laughs> what a guy. <laughs> they all are. A bunch of goofs. Um... Oh, what happened here? What was that? Oh, was that my crafting table? Okay, so when raids happen, it looks like uh, the monsters, or whatever they're called, um, can break things that you have made. So now I have to make a new uh, crafting table. All unfortunate. But I didn't get back soon enough, so that's my bad. Come on! Build it, build, build, build it! So, so this is this is a good thing to have um, on the go, obviously. So let's we'll just build one. So next time we can come back to champ or come back to camp immediately. Um, we'll build another waypoint. We'll build it up to the uh, lighthouse, so we don't have to deal with that again. Uh, and because we can, we might as well get some more aether wards. Um, oh man, you guys are, you guys need some food, huh? Uh, they also need entertainment though, so let's quickly entertain them, which, uh, we can actually, uh, we're gonna have to find these dudes some better toys, like we saw in the intro video, um, yeah, they were still not enough, maybe once they're actually crafted, these dudes need to be entertained, apparently. But like in the intro video, like we saw, you can get like hot tubs, uh, stuff like that, which probably keep them much more entertained than these little puppets. All right, uh, let's make a quick dash. Still a little bit of time. Over uh, back up to the lighthouse. We'll make another waypoint. But you can accelerate. Mm. I'm not 
sure we're going to be able to actually connect the two of them. Uh, yeah. Let's activate this. So, I was curious if, like, vehicles and stuff like that that are a little more uh, in this terrible, scary, murky swamp water, if you get better stuff out of there. Alright, so I can see the pillar from here. But, no idea if that actually matters. So, let's place our waypoint like here. Let's check the range on this bad boy. Uh, does not look like it. Um, Alright, so, good news, bad news. Good news is, we can... Dismantle the waypoint, takes 10 seconds, uh, and that should go right back into our inventory. Yeah, okay, so that's cool. And I just found a dodge, look at that. Okay, so B to dodge, or, uh, well, I don't know the PCU controls yet, but there is a dodge, so there's that. Um, Calm down. Let's, uh, we haven't shot the bow yet, so I'm gonna have that out. Uh, quick decision. Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Uh, I'd like to go to that radio tower, but it's pretty far away. So we're just gonna go over here. Go, 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 go. Oh boy. Oh boy. Green orchards are here. Please don't attack me while I'm here. Thanks. Water balloons? In what world do you think that's a good idea? Huh. Um, our health meter up in the top left, so you can see that we uh, took a little bit of damage there. So let's uh, heal ourselves right up. Oh, I did not even see you. Um, you can also. Okay, okay. Come here, come here. Push in the right thumbstick. It looks like you can zoom out a decent amount, so that's cool. Having two different perspectives. Um, but yeah. Um, all right, let's. Uh, oh, can't grab out there. Oh, so what was just doing that to me? I'm assuming it was just being too close to this. And we also did take some damage there. Uh, we'll into this. Oh, well. You know, we were talking about weapon de 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 degradation. degradation. Uh, there goes our axe. And now, now we have a trusty rake. So, there's that. Um, oh, actually, all right, quickly, this is the last thing that we will be doing on this first installment of my first hour. Uh, let's see if we can find... I think it was... Oh no, now I'm not sure. I was gonna say I wanna try to find that other Drake. Okay, lighthouse is there. And then I think the radio tower was over this way. Check out my rake! Oh, Andy got friends. Oh, you got the, the the scary darkness monster from Stranger Things. Oh, okay. Okay, so it turns out that thing does a uh, decent amount of damage. So that's good. But yeah, I think Rex. It's this thing's def it's definitely a heavy-ish weapon. Yeah. All right. Um. So that Drake should be, as far as I can tell, um, he should be somewhere in the mist here. So let's uh see if we can, see if we can rescue this guy. So 
this place. No ammo, no ammo. <laughs> Boy. More? Oh, I need some healing potions. I'm out of range uh, weapons here. Come on, little baby Drake. Baby Drake. It's not the Drake. It's a uh, well, the Drake Hollow Beta, as it was. Uh, like I said before, July 17th on Xbox and PC, uh, developed and published by the Molasses Company. Uh, hopefully, this video helped you guys to maybe decide if you want to pick up the game or at least check it out. Uh, maybe watch some people's reviews when the game is officially out. I'm assuming, like I said before, they can keep adding stuff to this. So uh, I think there's a bright future for this one. Um, we weren't even playing with multiplayer, and I think that once you're in there with friends as well, um, it should be a lot of fun. I'm not sure how the persistent worlds are going to work, like if it's going to be a shared base between the two of you, if you each have your own bases and collect your own supplies. Um, I don't know how that's going to work. So uh, if you have questions, check the internet. But for now, we're going to close the book on my first hour of the drake hollow beta thank you guys for showing up tuning in and if you stuck through the whole thing thank you um make sure to like subscribe all that fun stuff these are going to come out on a weekly basis on mondays i think is the date we decided on so uh tune in next week make sure you have your notifications on uh for the next episode of my first hour catch you guys later